the Premier Soccer League proudly presents the MTN8. The cream of the crop battle it out for top honours. The skills, the passion and the power. Eight teams all after the ultimate prize. In a struggle for glory, there can be only one. The MTN8 Wafa Wafa. After Mamelodi Sundowns had claimed the Absa Premiership title in the style only they possess, once more numbers 2 to 8 on the PSL standings at the end of the 2015 16 campaign went into the pot alongside the champions. Each of the eight outfits looking to claim the 2016 17 campaign's first bit of silverware. The MTN 8, in its 42nd edition, number 9 under the MTN flagship, saw Sundowns meet Supersport United in the first round. Fit Best Fits face Orlando Pirates. Chipper United had an assignment against Platinum Stars. While Kaiser Chiefs took on the newcomers to top flight football, Cape Town City. And perhaps that's where we should start, as the citizens announced themselves to the game with a six minute goal from now departed Matt Sim, sending the newbies through at the expense of the competition's most successful side. Well, the club who are regarded as the cup kings of South African football, they've won this competition 15 times. They are out at the very first stage. While Chipper United were two to the good against Platinum Stars. Well, Wafa Wafa, they'll be hoping to live the MTNA dream here as they've sent through a serious statement of intent. Vets edge Orlando Pirates 2 1, skipper Tulani Satrayo showing the reactions of a finisher to score the winner with a little over 10 minutes left at the Bidvest Stadium. Two goals in two matches for the skipper, and Bidvest Vets have done it again against Orlando Pirates. Through to the semis they went, as did Mamelodi Sundowns. One all at the break against their fellow protagonists from Tswane. The Brazilians stepped it up in the second stanza with no answer from Matatanta. From Bokegana and Kamabeliat within five minutes took the game away from United and sent Sundowns into the last four. Biliat, can they finish it off? They can! Semi-final lineup has been completed. They now join Chipper United, Cape Town City and Bitbestwitz. Then Masandawana met Chipper United over two legs. The Chile boys were playing some fearless football at that stage and held their opponents to a goalless draw in leg one and only conceded once in the decisive second. This should be Anthony Anthony Lafour with the decisive goal, sending the all-conquering Gabo Yellow through to the final. Already waiting was Bedvest Vets. The clever boys had been too smart for Cape Town City at home before a scoreless second leg. Despite finishing with 10 men on the pitch, the students threw Eleazar Rogers, Elias Belembe and Gabadino Mahango. Will be Nil on aggregate, and so it was that eight had become two, one in menacing yellow, the other in silky white. The Bombella Stadium was the chosen battlefield, and as if written by an award-winning director, the final was wet, dramatic and fiercely fought. It just so happened that Gavin Hunt's gladiators wanted it more. One Dan Clayt. Eleazar Rogers. And by the time Clayt did it again, it was all over. Vets, the champions of the MTN8, rain fell, goals were falling, Operation Sundowns Must Fall was achieved by Bedvest Vets. Well, it is MTN8 Wafa Wafa time. Eight teams, eight million rands, mm -hmm. nine matches. I think it's the best way to get the season underway. So let's kick it off. Yeah. To tell us more about it, uh, Mapule Budibe, Executive Consumer Business Unit for MTN. The 2016-2017 edition of the MTN8 tournament kicked off with another watershed moment on the 17th of August 2016, where we also extended our sponsorship of the tournament for a further five years. For this, I would like to thank the PSL for their goodwill throughout the negotiation process, which made it easier for us to continue this MTN8 journey with them. 
It gives us great satisfaction and joy to know that the MTN8 has become such a significant tournament in the local football scene. The tournament, best described by its payoff line, Wafa Wafa, meaning winner takes all, promised to be yet another thrilling encounter for the 2015-2016 Premier Soccer League Top 8 finishers all fighting it out for the most lucrative cup competition on the African continent, with the winning team set to pocket a whopping 8 million rands. This past year, we brought out yet another innovative campaign, which we called When They Score, You Score. For every goal scored during the tournament, 80,000 rand was to be added to the grand prize for one lucky fan at the end of the tournament. Simply put, this meant that football decided the ultimate prize for one lucky fan. Members of the media were not forgotten. We rewarded them through the weekly media online quiz engagement series over the five-week tournament period. The popular female fan of the match activations continued, where a female fan chosen at halftime received 8,000 Rand in cash and an additional 8,000 Rand to donate to a charity organization of her choice, specializing in outreach for women and children. I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our partners, the PSL, for their continued support in making the MTN8 a success, for making all these initiatives possible. We look forward to another successful Wafa Wafa competition with the league, the teams, the media, and the passionate football fans in the 2017-2018 football season. Thank you. The MTN8 Last Man Standing Award. Yes, give it applause, please, please. Let me not interrupt the award. Now, the MTN8 Last Man Standing Award is presented to a player that consistently showed exceptional ability and application in executing his given role in the team. He showed discipline and he may not have received a red card or more than one yellow card during MTN8, uh, any of the matches. But I think we need to change that. I think it needs to say received at least one yellow card because that shows commitment. Yeah, no, no. I'm looking at Trompo Ekana here saying, yes, then I'm in. I'm definitely one of the winners there. And uh, then the player also has to have played in at least 70% of the team's matches, receiving 80,000 Rand in prize money. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees. That really should have earned it. scored. The experienced Dane Clayt was an influential figure for Bidvestvitz throughout the tournament. He capped his tournament performance with two goals and an assist in the final of the MTN8. In for Clayt! Three goals for Bidvestvitz! Dominguez. Monari has a shot. Oh, and it's good by the final! And on the follow-up, it's finished off by Tulane Santiago! Fatuayo commanded the Bidvestvitz defence very well throughout the tournament and also proved useful when going forward. The Bafana Bafana captain led from the front, showed his class and scored the winner in the quarter-final over Orlando Pirates. Two goals and two the skipper! Nice touch from Mahango. That's a good looking ball and a chance! And that's the opener! It could be argued that Mango was one of the crucial elements behind Bidvestvitz's road to the MTN8 final. Mango scooped two Man of the Match awards that paved the way for the Clever Boys to win the trophy. Here to announce the winner and present the trophy is Miss Mapula Budibe, MTN Executive Consumer Business Unit. And the MTN8 last man standing is Dane Clayt from Bet West West.
Well, Dane Cates is certainly no stranger to winning awards. He has, of course, won the league title half a dozen times. Congratulations to Dane Cates, the MTN 8 last man standing. While receiving the trophy on behalf of Bidvest Bits, the MTN 8 champions, please welcome onto stage the captain of the side, Talani Tlashwayo.